got a really big surprise. We've got a big surprise for grade one. They are the predictors of the century. Come on, this way, this way. I think I know where they are. Okay, I was on Mix 96 on March 22nd. Well, that was so much fun with Gabrielle. It was such a blast. And in the excitement, I predicted that the snow would last until May 5th. Well, just because that was a big, 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 big birthday. Well, I thought I was joking, but I wasn't joking. The snow was still here on May 5th. I came home from Calgary that night at 11.11. I pulled my car into the parking lot. There was still snow on May 5th. May 5th? May 5th. We had this big contest at school because of Mix 96. Every class in the school made a prediction. That's prediction. right. Mm -hmm. Because school's all about predicting. And grade 1M and another grade 1. We ought to go there too. Okay. We're the winners. Mix 96 is here. Why are they here, boys and girls? Come on, grade one, come over to see Miss Hook. This is Mix 96. Everybody come sit close to me. Come sit on the floor. Mix 96 has come to see you, boys and girls, because do you know what you did that was special? Does anybody remember? You know, what was it? <gasps> we, predict we predicted May 10th. You predicted May 10th. What was going to happen on May 10th? The snow would all be melted. How did you know that? When it was May 9th, the snow was almost melted. Oh my goodness. Do you know the grade three, four class, they thought it was gonna melt on May 8th and they went outside and they chopped and chopped and they tried to chop it away. Did you know that? No. No. What is your prize for winning the prediction contest? An, an extra recess. And is that what you're doing now? Yes. Who is taking you outside? Madame Monroe. Isn't she wonderful, Madame Monroe? There she is. There she is. And wait, somebody over here knew the answer. Why did you win the recess? Because we predicted on May 10th, and we had a class vote. You had a class vote. Well, boys and girls, that is democracy in action. Everything we do is a learning experience at Crescent View School. Now, can somebody tell me in uh, French, can you say, oh, oh, oh. Say what? Oh, <laughs> can you say we won the contest? Or what could you say? The snow is gone? Can you say that in French? Le neige est fondu. Oh, le neige est gone. Oh, excellent. Now wait, somebody else knew over here too about why did you win the contest? Was it you? Because you made a? A vote. A vote. Now, you also made a prediction. What is a prediction? Oh. Come a close. prediction is a guess. A guess. Is it a silly, silly guess or a smart guess? A smart guess. Oh, and how do you know that? Because my brother, he's a grade three-er, he told me. Isn't it wonderful to have older, wiser people around? Yes. Oh, and what's your name? Harry. Harry. And what was your name? Jackson. Jackson. And who else talked to me here? Do you want to say your name? Madison. Oh, those are lovely names. Now, Madame Neal, we must thank her, because I think she's going outside, too. <laughs> uh, we'd like to thank you, Madame Neal, for volunteering for this exciting, exciting prize. What would you like to say to the world out there? Help? <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to taking the kids out for an extra recess. They love to be out there running around. Excellent. And we are the prize is going outside because what's what's gone? What's gone on the playground? What's gone? Snow. 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 Let's say it. The snow, snow is gone. The snow is gone. Merci beaucoup. The snow is gone. Merci beaucoup. The snow is gone. There you have it. There you have it, everybody. More excitement at Ecole Crescent View School. Over and out. Now, Vicky, tell me about this prediction we, we've been talking a bit about with the kids. I'm not fully understanding 
did this derive from the morning show interview that it you all did? came from the morning show March 22nd oh, I was on Gabrielle's show and I accidentally blurted out I think the snow will be here till May 5th well then when I got back to school I thought what a fun idea so I got on the announcements and I said okay everybody you predict when you think there will be no snow on the Crescent View School playground mm -hmm. yes so every class sent in a prediction and we made a big graph and we put it at the front of the school. Well, the excitement was almost more than anyone could bear. I'm not kidding. The grade three <laughs> fours thought they had won. They would come in the evening and chip away at the last little bit of snow, trying to Dedication. help it. Dedication. Or cheating. <laughs> Whatever. We must go to Mrs. Harder's class. They okay. tied with the May 10th prediction. Okay. Shh. Now, here we go, everybody. I don't you feel like Ellen? <laughs> I feel like Ellen. Oh, let's go in here now. <laughs> oh, here we are, boys and girls. Can anyone tell me why I might be here? Does anybody know something special that you did? Something that you won? And Mix 96 is here to celebrate you, Grade 1, Harder Zorowski. Oh, we have a winner over here that knows. Oh, and one here. Why on earth would Miss Hook and Mix 96 be here? Why do you think? Because you, because we got a few day on the play structure. Well, what on earth did you do to get that? Does anybody remember? Oh, sure. ooh, 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 ooh. I think the microphone scared you. Most many people wish it would scare me. Of when the snow will be gone? Yes! And when did you guess? May 10th. And were you the winners? Yeah. What do we call that when we guess when something's going to happen? Do you anybody know that word? What's that word when you know something's going to happen? Do you know the word? Prediction. What's the word? Prediction. What's the word? Prediction. What's the word, everybody? Prediction! Let's all say it. We made a prediction. We made a prediction. Excellent. Predict your way through life, boys and girls. Predict and predict. Thank you.